Welcome back to She Loves Fun Anatomy videos. In today's video, we'll be going over Virabhadrasana 1, or simply Warrior 1. Remember, we spoke briefly about Warrior 1 also being high lunch on some yoga disciplines, some teachers. The way I was taught was Warrior 1 was high lunch. But I teach Warrior 1 how Ashtanga teaches it, with the heel down. So, actually come to the top of the mat, facing Mr. Bones. Okay. My yoga partner. Your yoga partner. So as you can tell, so again, just to briefly go over a quick anatomy, if there were no muscles, obviously there's muscles in Ashley's body. If she didn't have any bones, if she didn't have any muscles, her bones would just collapse. So muscles were, were keep us upright. Just so you know, contracted muscles, strengthening and everything. So Ashley, close your eyes for a brief moment. Come into your mountain pose. Ease your way in palms facing forward. And then from here, step your right foot back to a 45 degree angle. Right foot steps back to a 45 degree angle. Perfect, heel drops down, good. So unlike warrior two, warrior one is with the heel at a 45 degree angle. And then shift your right hip forward, left hip back. Good, stacking her left knee over her left ankle. She'll look down, she'll stack that. And then in this warrior one, what's going on here? She's strengthening her left hamstring, left quad, left glute, all here. Stretching her right hip. So just take your hand on your right hip, actually. Yeah, there you go. She's stretching her hip flexor on the right side, stretching her quad, strengthening her glute on that right side as well. And then from here, I'll have her scissor or squeeze her inner thighs in together. And then from here, inhale, extend the arms up toward the sky. Exhale, inhale, reach up with both hands. Spread your fingertips wide. Look up toward the sky. Exhale, a slight arching back. Good, wide arching back to stretch the abdominals. So her abdominals are working, front side. Her oblique muscles are working to sustain her arms up. Her lat muscles, rhomboids, traps are working. Chest is working in a stretch position. Her biceps and triceps are turned on by her spreading her fingertips wide. And she's breathing in and breathing out. Now I'm gonna have her float her right foot to high lunge and then step her right foot forward to mountain pose. Warrior one. I'm gonna have her turn, we have to even her out and have her turn come to the top of the mat on the opposite side. And then from here, I'll have her step her left leg back. Good. And then she'll have her left heel drop down. Good. And then she'll shift her right hip back, left hip slightly forward. And she'll stack her right knee over the right ankle. Press into the outer edge of that left foot. Pinky toes, press into to see how her pinky toes lower down. That's a cue. And then inhale, arms reach up toward the sky. Exhale, press into that right foot. Press into the outer edge of that left foot. Those toes are working hard as you can tell. One misnomer about warrior one, it is almost anatomically impossible to get both hips forward. So please do not force the hips forward. One thing for injury prevention is you want to rotate from the hip, not from the knee. So if I, had, if I wanted to have Ashley bring this foot a little bit more, I'd have her lift the heel, rotate, and then drop the heel down. Instead of, instead of doing this, instead of doing this from the knee. This is violent from the knee. Just FYI. See how violent it was when I twisted her? So that's bad. It, that would be really bad for that knee. I like my knees and I want the originals. That's my little, little <laughs> joke. <The original. laughs> I like my original knees. I don't want to. So press into the outer edge. So this is a yoga cue. Press into the outer edge here. That ignites this heel. That gets the calf muscle working. That gets the hamstring working. Press a little stronger to the outer edge. Good. And then from here, I'll take a block for this so you can see. Have the right knee over the right ankle. Just take a block for that. And then so we want to strengthen her arch here, press into the big toe. That turns this whole entire chain on, right here, the inner thigh, right through the shin. Stretching the front side, so as hip flexor on the left side. Strengthening the hamstring, quad, glute on the right side. 
Oblique muscles are working. Spread your fingertips wide, Ashley. Biceps, triceps working. And then this time, just draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. And we're gonna do an arm variation. And have her bring that arm behind her. Interlace them. And bring her left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. So this arm variation is really good. If someone has neck issues, this is really great. And from here, she can take even a back bend. Slight back bend. And then press your knee forward. Press your knee forward into this back bend. And we're gonna keep Ashley here for an hour. Inhale, so you see this is just a different arm variation in Warrior One. And two. Now, I'm gonna have her bring her hands to her hips. She's gonna come up to the ball of the left foot. She's gonna step the left foot forward. She's gonna turn face the camera. And we're gonna namaste this. Namaste. Namaste.